Hello, folks. How to get 99 percentile in quant? And I've been told very clearly, many times over, that 99 percentile in quant is typically 36 to 40 marks. And so, if you break it, it's 12, 13 questions. Why am I saying 12, 13 questions? Because I'm not used to the idea of arriving at 36 marks by attempting 18 questions. Many people tell me 18 questions, five wrong, three will be a negative mark, we'll arrive at 36 questions. I don't understand that. You have to attempt 18 questions and get five wrong. First of all, you have to select which five you are going to get wrong, get them wrong, and then attempt the remaining 13. Right? So I don't understand this idea of having a plan for quant with accounting for a 30% error rate. It's absurd. If you're looking for the high percentage, saying, look, I'm ambitious, I think I've got it in me, quant is my section, I want a route to 99 percentile, your starting step, second step, third step, everything you should take your accuracy as close to 100 percent as possible. Write it down as a mantra, keep it as a philosophy, ingrain it in your brain, do something. If you get something wrong, you're mad at yourself. And no errors. As few, you get caught out by a question, that's fine. And now, how am I going to go to this 12, 13 question range? And so, super important to leave merrily. I'm telling you, if you are in the 99th percentile range, out of a 22 question section, 9, 10 questions are going to be in your range. You're going to be able to attempt it. You're going to look at the question and know the method for nearly half the question. If you're not that ready, then you're not in the 99th percentile range. If you're ambitious and you're saying, I have the 99th percentile in my side, you take a paper out of 22, half or slightly below half, 9, 10 questions, you should be able to look at the question, know the method, plug the equation, solve and get to the answer. You're not even pausing. You read half the question, you're like, look, average speed, total distance by total speed, total distance by total time, I know what's happening, I'll now substitute formula and get to the answer. And so, you have to get all of those in the bag. First up, you have to get absolutely in my complete neat swinging zone, 9 to 10 questions, put them in the bag. After that, it's three or four more questions. If everything goes well, you'll finish these nine, 10 questions by 28 minutes, and you'll have that 27 marks in the bag. You're saying four more questions if I get lucky, three if it doesn't fall in place, but I have 12 more minutes, that's your approach. Get everything that is bleeding obvious, absolutely in your sweet spot, short questions, very much non-controversial answers, easy method, you look at it and you know what you're doing. Those kind of questions, nine or 10 of them in the bag, minute number 28. That's your first target. You get that, then your path gets laid out. Give that a crack. Best wishes. Hush.